When two bombs exploded at the finish line of the famous Boston Marathon, one of the first thoughts of American Islamic leaders was, please don't let the attackers be Muslims. It turned out they were, according to the authorities here, but even so, there was little of a feared backlash against American Muslims, says Nihad Awad, head of the Council on American-Islamic Relations, known as CARE. I believe the American Muslim community and CARE, uh, what we've done is not different than what we have done in the past, which is clearly, swiftly, and unequivocally condemn the terror attack on, is- uh, on innocent people and just make it sure without ifs and buts. And that was well received in the national media and also among politicians and hopefully by the public. And that helps us uh, and shows that what CARE has done over the years has uh, has borne uh, fruit for the Muslim community in terms of uh, minimum anti-Muslim backlash and hate crimes. Right after the attack, some false information was spread in social media and newspapers. For example, the New York Post newspaper said a Saudi student injured in the blasts was a suspect. This was untrue. Police said he was simply one of the more than 170 people hurt by the blasts. It is unfortunate that uh, because we live in the 24-7 streaming and live coverage, uh, that people have the, the, the desire to rush to conclusion and to rush, uh, to rush to misjudgment. And the first casualty of this are the innocent people. Saudi national uh, who was injured in the attack was in the hospital. He was viewed by media and commentators as suspect when the government was quick to say he is only a witness. Nihad Awad praises the American authorities for urging people not to make rush judgments about the attacks. The performance of the local, state, and federal uh, authorities were measured and were well-planned and were wise, including statements from President Obama. They were measured, and they cautioned against rushing to judgment. And I think that helped reset the tone for the nation, and it, it prevented media and commentators from using any misleak to uh, assign blame to innocent people, including American Muslims. And that did not prevent some to go ahead and do it anyway. The vast majority of Muslim leaders in America oppose extremism. In fact, press reports say that Tamerlan Tsarnaev, the now deceased older of the two brothers accused in the bombings, was thrown out of his mosque in Boston three months ago for his radical outbursts. While there were a few anti-Muslim remarks by conservative politicians, there were far fewer signs of anti-Muslim bigotry this time than there were after the 9-11 attacks more than a decade ago. Commentators say that shows the extent to which American Muslims have become an integrated and respected part of the American nation. Burton Bolak, KSA 2, Washington.